you are here? Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brad and Carter. A lot of people have been asking me to do a video on meditation, explaining why I meditate, uh, the benefits of meditation, and the method I use, the method I use and how, how to do it. First of all, the benefits of meditation, the main thing for me I get is a, a better control over my emotions in general. Like I'm just more even kill, a lot calmer. I know I can be a little volatile uh, and, and even violent in my past, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like meditating every day helps, keeps, helps to keep me uh, out of prison, really. <laughs> really, because I might, you know, swing on somebody, you know? Right now I got too much going on to end up in jail. I got too much, too many things going on in my life to, to get arrested again. <laughs> so I just want to stay focused. It keeps me, it keeps me, my emotions in check. And now it's like I'm, I'm, I'm able to really like just stay a lot calmer. Just real calm. Even when I'm in situations where people are spazzing out and just really panicking over shit, I'm, I can be calm and I'm the voice of reason. So I went from being the most volatile guy I know to being the voice of reason in a dramatic situation. And that's important to me, because like, who do you want to be in charge of shit when things go down? Who do you want to rely on in a high pressure situation? You want to uh, rely on a guy who's going off the handle, flipping out, or do you want a guy who's sure-footed, calm, and assertive, handling the situation? That's who meditation has helped me become, you know? And I'm, I'm very happy about that. Another thing it's going to do is help it lower stress and lower cortisol levels. When your cortisol levels rise, your testosterone drops. So basically, being stressed out ruins your gains. So this is how meditation actually helps you make gains, man. Because it helps keep, it helps lower uh, cortisol. Some correlation with that in raising testosterone levels. You know what I'm saying? Lowers cortisol, helping you to have, helping your natural testosterone levels to be optimal. Right, because if your cortisol levels are high, because you're stressed out or you're flipping out or whatever, then your 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 testosterone is gonna be low, so you're not gonna be at your optimal level, so you're not gonna be making your optimal gains. Through meditation, you can learn to control your emotions, keep cortisol levels low, low consistently. Now your testosterone will be optimal. You know what I'm saying? You'll be at your optimal levels. And not only that, it also increases performance, man. This is why, like, uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, a video. Uh, Phil Jackson talking about Phil Jackson had the Chicago Bulls doing it when he had them meditating when when they were winning championships. Then when he went over to the Lakers, he had them meditating off the jump, and they you know they went on to win championships as well. That's six championships with Chicago Bulls and five championships with the Lakers. All those teams meditated. All those championship teams meditated. Phil made sure they they met it. They 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 did that. And if Phil meditates himself, he, he talks about it all the time. He talks about it in his book, Eleven Rings. And he, he I'll post a link of him explaining it, you know, a video. A lot of athletes and a lot of real successful people meditate. Like like I, every time I read interviews or listen to podcasts with like high levels, successful people, millionaire CEOs of uh, Fortune 500 companies, they almost always do some sort of med meditation. And I would imagine because they, they're dealing with I mean, they're like making million dollar decisions, man. So they need, those are people, they need to be in total control of their emotions. If you're spazzing out or if you're not like totally focused and locked in, when you're making million dollar decisions, multi-million dollar decisions, sometimes billion dollar decisions, then, you know, you're, you're putting, you're putting everything, you're putting everything at risk. You're putting the whole company at risk. You're putting people's jobs at risk. So meditation probably, I would imagine it helps them lock in. It helps them lock in, stay focused, stay calm and see clearly. That's another thing, it helps me make decisions. It helps me make decisions. I, I never, ever since I've been meditating, I've never had that feeling like, damn, what should I do? I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck, what do I do? Like when, ever since I, I've been meditating consistently, I never feel like that. Like my decision making has been so clear. Like I can't kind of just tell what I'm supposed to do. I kind of just know what I'm supposed to do. I, I, it's really hard to explain. Like I always, not say I always make the right decision, but I make the right decision more often than I make the wrong decision. I'll put it to you that way. And I'm just way more confident with, with my decisions too. It's like, it's not, I'm not wishy-washy. I'm not, 
uh, and like I barely even ask people for fucking advice anymore, right? And and it's just because my thinking is so clear now. My thinking is so much more clear now that I meditate uh, every day, basically. The days I do miss it, I notice it. I'm just more on edge. I'm just a little bit more on edge. I'm easier to piss off. I'm not as nice to the people I'm around me. So sometimes I just feel like the best thing for the people, for my loved ones, people I care about is to meditate more. Cause like now that makes me a better spouse, a better friend, a better business partner. And and it just, I make better decisions in general. All right, so how do you meditate? I do a, a, a meditation called Vipassana, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, or they call it mindfulness meditation. Basically, I don't sit in any crazy way. I kind of just sit down. I don't, I'm not sitting Indian style or no shit like that. I just sit down, close my eyes. And all I do is breathe in and out. I don't do any kind of crazy breathing. I don't try to make myself breathe a certain way. I just breathe normally. And I just focus on my breath. And I try to only focus on my breath. And if my mind starts wandering and, th and thinking about other things, then I'd immediately bring my attention. It's go that's gonna happen. Your mind is gonna wander. You're gonna immediately bring your attention back to your breath. And it sounds simple, but it's a lot harder than you think. And you'll notice, what you'll, what you'll notice immediately is how little control you have over your mind. How much it wanders, how much it does, just, it starts thinking on its own. The better you get in meditation, it's gonna take a while, and once you've done it for a while, you'll be able to lock in and just focus on your breath for longer and longer and longer. And then your focus in general will just be better. And then when that happens, your mind will be clearer and you'll be able to think better and make better decisions. And you'll be more focused. And you'll be able to control your emotions better. All the benefits I talked about previously. You know, I'm not the best at explaining this kind of shit, but maybe I'll put a link in the description of, you know, some articles that may explain it better than I can. So anyway, Give it a try, man. Give it a try. I do it. Start with just five minutes a day. Five minutes a day. Set a timer. Just try to focus on your breath. Try not to think about shit, but but your breath. Your mind's going to wonder. Don't don't get mad when it wonders. Just just notice what happened and calmly bring it back. And it's going to keep happening. Just notice what happens. Notice you're wandering and calmly bring your, your attention back to your breath. And then you get better. You get better. You get better. And I'm still not. I don't still think. I still not great at the shit. But it's not about perfection, it's about progress, you know? It's not about perfection, it's about progress. It doesn't take long to start feeling the results in your life, though. You'll notice the results, you know? Or even, like, after one session, you might feel a certain calm. You know, you might start to get an idea of what's happening. And then you do it for five minutes, then maybe do it 10 minutes, then do 20 minutes, then maybe do 30 minutes. I mean, maybe you even get to, like, a point where you're doing it an hour a day, you know? That might be crazy but I try to do it I try to do it 20 minutes in the, in the morning 20 minutes in the afternoon I don't do it too late at night because I found if I keep it do it too late if I do it like past seven I find that uh I, I have a hard time sleeping so anyway <laughs> George usually joins me during the meditation and I sit still so he sits on my lap and we just focus on my we both focus on my breath <laughs> so anyway hope that helps guys peace